Okay, so you got your 32 knots and loops. As you see, I took them off the wire, tied them to a shoestring. We'll stay tied to this to finish the net, basically, until you put the lead line on. All right, so I got two tone. Red is your drop line. Blue is your needle. Okay, so what you do, and as you see, I, I kind of got them in order when I put them on. That helps. It's going to be a big circle when you're done. So you take your drop line. There's your first loop. Now make sure your drop line's behind your thumb board. And then just loop two of them in like so. So now you got your drop line back behind it. Here's your needle side. Make sure your needle's on the front. And do the same thing. You might have to slide them over a little bit. Get your first two needle side ones on. That's number one there. Here's number two. Okay, so you got both of them. Drop strings behind. Needle sides up front. You just want to tie your knot just like you did on the bottom. Just over the top. Get your half hitch in. You got a knot slipping somewhere. There we go. And I always like to take my drop string and go back around it. This one's all tangled up because I twisted a bunch for traveling. Okay, they're on the thumb board. That's no problem. Once again, you just want to tie this knot so it doesn't slip. Like so. So you got, but now you want to do the complete hitch. You got the half hitch. So go ahead and finish it off with the complete hitch. Try to keep the second one on top of the last one. Like so. There you go. And that's starting at your second row. And you want to go down to three rows. Get three rows completely done, but before you finish your, before you start on your first, fourth row, the fourth one, number four, check back in, and I'll show you how to put the wideners in, which are pretty crucial. You don't really need them, but it really helps to even everything out at the end when you put your lead line on and your tuck strings in. So just continue the process. Go around till you get four rows. And that'll be, or actually do three, complete three rows and before you start your fourth, watch the next video after this one, which will be wideners. We'll be putting those in. And so, after, after, yeah, after you finish three, remember, go down three rows. You should have 32 on your first. Just go all the way around, tie the next one in the same way until you get down to three rows. And then check back in.